To demonstrate interoperability between Cyberhaven and Spirion, we will first go ahead and classify a file manually for this example. However, this could just as easily be accomplished through the automation of sensitive data manager workflows or sensitive data platform playbooks. The result will always be the same when persistent classification is enabled. We end up with a unique ID associated with that classification label that is then plugged into the Cyberhaven console as a document tag. Additional policies can be created around this tag now for orchestration of DLP in motion protection rules, preventing or at least warning users of how to properly handle sensitive data once classified by Spirion. We will now go ahead and attempt to upload our classified file to various locations, starting with a locally synced OneDrive folder. As we see, moving the file over to that folder location triggers the Cyberhaven policy where users can enter a justification for an exception or simply accept that this policy is blocking the action and move on. We can similarly see a local system interaction with Outlook, the desktop application, by taking advantage of the same mechanism when attempting to do the same thing, this time through an email attachment. We will next move to the browser where we can see that Cyberhaven is also enforcing this policy for similar interactions. In this case, using the Outlook OWA application, we are once again prevented from uploading that file. And the same concept applies to, of course, SharePoint Online. Or a browser-based OneDrive session. Cyberhaven's in-motion DLP controls, of course, extend beyond Microsoft's applications, knowing that the same policy is enforceable throughout other locations, such as Gmail. Google Drive, or any other location that is enforced through the policies that are configured from the Cyberhaven console. 